it is Black Friday sales this week and uh, brands are starting really, really early this year and I always find that confusing because I'm like, but are you going to have a better sale over the four days of actual Black Friday weekend or what's the deal? Anyway, that's a side note. I will have a video coming up next week of like Black Friday sales, what I recommend, maybe even my wish list. I don't even know if I have a wish list right now if I'm honest with you. I digress. What we are doing in this video <laughs> is that Repro is currently having a 50% off their entire website sale. And I put it on my community tab when it started the other day and I've had so, so, so many questions and um, yeah, so many questions around what brushes I specifically recommend and also if I could do a video. So I thought I'd quickly film a video today. So we're interrupting my 14 days of holiday makeup looks. You're just going to get two videos in one day so that I could film this little recommendation video as well for you guys. So hopefully that's okay with y'all. Now, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things first. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the like button. My mind is going now. It's the afternoon and I've been playing with makeup for six hours. <laughs> um, do all the YouTube things and let's get into it, shall we? I do have an affiliate link with Rafa that is in the description box down below for you guys and I'll try and put it as a pinned comment as well and all of my brush recommendations and everything I talk about in the video will be in the description box as well. Thank you truly so so much from the bottom of my heart if you do use my affiliate link. It all just goes back into this channel, upgrading equipment, buying makeup products to review and all that jazz. So I, I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, now, just because Refa is, just because it's an affiliate link and Refa sends me PR and stuff doesn't mean that I'm dishonest in my referrals here. I love this brand. I can't stress to you enough how much I love this brand. I have had nothing but an absolute pleasure in dealing with the company themselves. They are so lovely. The owners are so lovely and bend over backwards for their creators. And also the products are out of this world. And I've said this from day dot. You can, I'll try and remember to link any video I specifically talk about Refa or have talked about Refa in down below as well. Their brush quality or their brushes changed. And I hand on heart mean this changed my makeup game especially the eyeshadows i never knew that natural head brushes really made that much of a difference and holy dooly did they change my makeup game i swear now everyone's experience opinions preferences is so different just remember this is my opinion if you disagree with it that is totally fine but we can still be friends now uh i do want to make a quick side note and say that in my Black Friday sale video coming up. I and I also already have a video talking about this. Whereas, if you don't want natural hair brushes, I recommend BK Beauty and Delium Tools. And I have a video talking about my favorite makeup brushes that I'm going to link down below for you. And there's a heap of suggestions in that video of makeup brushes that aren't natural, just in case you don't wish to use natural hair brushes, which is totally fine. But for those of you that do, let's get into some recommendations. Uh, before I get into the nitty gritty of the makeup brushes themselves, I do want to randomly touch on Refa's skincare. So Refa, I think this is all of it that I have, but I might be missing something. If I am, I'll put it on the screen. But Refa recently sent me with their new holiday brush bundle, all of their skincare. So they sent me the light hydration cream and also the intense hydration cream. So these are moisturizers right here. And uh, the light hydration cream has 5% niacinamide, 2% dimethicone, 2% squalane, 1% meadow foam seed oil, and a Hyalocta complex. It's fragrance free and essential oil free, and it's for all skin types. And it was, it's made in Korea. And then there's the Intense Hydration Cream, which, which has 20% shea butter, 5% niacinamide, 3.5% macadamia seed oil, ceramides, NP, AP, EOP, and a high, higher Lockta Complex fragrance-free, essential oil-free. This one says for all skin types. This one says, says for dry skin. I unfortunately can't use this one because it does have coconut in it, and I'm also slightly sensitive to a lot of shea butter. So unfortunately for me... Even though I desperately want to use this one because my skin really feels like it needs the hydration, my skin will react to this. But my husband has been using it and he loves it. 
loves it. And he, even though he's a man, when I tell you he's picky about his skincare, he's picky about his skincare because he quite often gets like skincare hand-me-downs, if you will, from me because a lot of skincare that um, I would get sent from brands especially, um, if it has coconut in it, I can't use it and I'll always give it to him. So he really knows what he likes when it comes to skincare and he's obsessed with this. But I can thankfully use the light hydration cream, which is still not just a light hydration. It is gorgeous. And when I tell you I am obsessed, obsessed, I will be buying this from now on truly. It is it's amazing it is so great for under makeup as well because it's really hydrating but like it says for all skin types truly if you have oily to dry skin you will seriously like this no matter what your skin type is because it really does add a beautiful amount of hydration it's soothing you'll know i have the most sensitive skin even right now you probably can't tell, but I have this like texture on each cheek. It's because I was just in Melbourne and it was, even though it's summer in Australia, Melbourne just has to be Melbourne and uh, was freezing like under 13 degrees each day, icy cold raining and my skin is used to uh, humidity and heat. And my skin, when I tell you I got these massive textured rashes that were bright red here on both sides of my cheek from the cold, I'm not even exaggerating. You could like, I looked like a tomato and they were so stinging and sore and I put this on it and instantly it calmed them down and soothed them and added the moisture and hydration back into my skin. So I recommend this so much, it's not even funny. They sent me the Rebalancing Essence which is 3% glycerin, 2% niacinamide, 2% meadow foam seed oil, 1% panthenol, 1% betaine, and alan twain, which I'm pretty certain is quite soothing on the skin. I'm not a skincare expert, you guys. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm just going to tell you whether or not I like it with my skin. My skin is sensitive and angry at the best of times. So if it works for me, <laughs> I'm just going to share it. So this is the essence and it says after cleansing and prior to treatment is in the morning and evening. So I just put it on after I, I have like a um, Neod Saturide Mist Spray that I've talked about on my channel before. So I spray my face and then I put this on. Firstly, the packaging again. I love skincare that is easy to use. When I say, I mean, I just have to like pump this, which I'll see. I don't know if you can see here. It's just like a milky kind of essence and then you just like press it into your face. It is so like cooling and hydrating and so lovely on the skin. I really like it as an extra step that I've been using since I got this. And the packaging doesn't have any plastic. It's like all metal. It's recyclable. It has a 12 month expiry. It's a generous amount, especially for the price point. And I just have found that this has really, it's made my makeup last longer because my skin's properly hydrated. I really, really like that. And then we've also got the Gentle Cleanser, which I do have to admit I haven't used yet because I have three other cleansers that I'm currently working for. But I wanted to show you guys because firstly the packaging, like this in the shower with the pump, like I love it. And I love that you'll just be able to like refill this. It says it's for all skin types. It's a gentle cleanser and it's got 15% glycerin, 9% surfactant blend or a surfactant blend, 3% green tea extract, 2% aloe vera extract, and 0.5% hyaluronic acid, 250 mils, made in Korea again. I am very, very excited to try this. I'm not going to speak on how it is. I'm sure it's amazing, just like all of the other skincare products I've tried from them. But I wanted to shout it out as anyway, because it is adorable packaging and the ingredients look amazing. Now it is time to talk about the makeup brushes themselves. I'm gonna honestly say to you, there is not a refer brush that I wouldn't recommend to you. I don't think that you would pick up any refer brush and regret it, but I do have some favorites. So I'm gonna start off with my favorites and the ones that I just don't feel like I could live without and wish that I, like eventually I'll accumulate like five of each, right? Because I just use them over and over again. My biggest brush recommendation, hands down, especially if you have hooded eyes, actually keep in mind when I'm recommending these eyeshadow brushes in particular, 
I take it from a direction of hooded eyes because I have hooded eyes, so just keep that in mind. But this, if you have hooded eyes especially, is going to be your best friend and it is the Ref Refer number 14. Now mine are a bit manky and gross because I've had them for a while and you see how much I do my makeup, right? So just keep that in mind. But I did just give them a clean, so this is the Refer number 14. It is a very small, like, tapered brush. It is perfect for getting in and creating some detail crease work, adding that deeper shade into your eyeshadow look. Even if like running a little bit underneath the lower lash line, this is just a worker bee. This is a worker bee of an eyeshadow brush. And if you have hooded eyes, you need this because creating that kind of faux crease or even generally we just have like a smaller eye shape to work with and something like this kind of a brush that is that kind of smallish shape with the tapered top is just perfect for that smaller eye shape. And you'll notice that a lot of the brushes with Refa, the eyeshadow brushes that I recommend are tapered. And what I mean by that, mean by that is it comes, goes thicker and then comes to like a point. And the reason for that is you can pick your eyeshadow up on the point of the brush and blend it into your eye. And the tapered parts that cascade down from that point are going to just blend your eyeshadow for you and you really don't have to do a lot of work with it at all. Now I know I'm kind of far zoomed out. I do have a video where I talk, like I show these quite zoomed up close and also I have just done literally 14 days of holiday makeup looks and I've got so many eyeshadow tutorials on my channel where you can see these in action and you can kind of see the techniques that I'm talking about. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not professional or anything like that, I'm completely self-taught, but this is just works. what works for me and my hooded eyes. So if you vibe with it, then there you go. If you pick up any refer brush, it is the number 14 for me, followed closely by the number two. So I have two number twos, and these are like flat shader brushes. And these are hands down the best eyeshadow brushes to use for putting me metallic eyeshadows or like glitter eyeshadows onto your lids because they're a flat shader brush but they're slightly see how they're just ever so slightly thicker so they're not like for example this is a refer number 21 see how flat that is see how that's like really quite flat whereas this one is a bit thicker and so and also because it has the natural hair, when you pick up the metallic shadow, it just like grips to the brush and then allows you to apply it as close to what that shadow looks like in the pan as possible. So I love these, love them. They are the only brush I personally need to apply metallic eyeshadow and especially great for like honestly any metallic but especially great for those special shades with Pat McGrath Labs as well. The next brush that I recommend, actually the two next brushes and really they're the exact same brush, one's just slightly smaller and one's just slightly bigger and they're also the exact same shape as the Refa 14s but again in bigger versions. So that is the Refa 15 and the Refa 16. The top one here, this one right here is the 15 and the bottom one is the 16. They are both tapered blending brushes so the 15 or the 16 just depending on the kind of look that I'm going for and the mood that I'm in these are really good for laying down transition shades or really even just like packing a one and done shadow on all of that jazz these are brilliant again they're tapered so they do a lot of the work for you they're great sizes for where they're a bit more of a fluffy blending brush but they're small enough still for our hooded eyes or small, smaller eyes. I mean, any eye shape, honestly, will love these, truly. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to describe them, but they just do a lot of the work for you. And obviously with the natural hair, it just picks up and disperses the shadow so beautifully on the eye. And they're so soft and lovely. So I recommend them. The other more fluffy blending brush that I recommend. It's not as tapered as those two is the 27. This is just a really great kind of like buffing brush. So for example, I mean, I actually use this a lot of the time, even as just my transition color brush, but it's also great for just kind of fluffing a lot more like the edges of your eyeshadow look, or if you just want to kind of create a more smoky look and buffing those shades through. So kind of the 15, 16, and 27 are like my three blending brushes 
um, that do like my transition shade work and then I'll use my ruffle 14 to do my deepening work so like really creating that faux crease and using those deeper shadows and then I have the ruffle twos that really pack on the metallics that I want to pack on and kind of finish off that look for me so if I recommend any it's the 2 the 14 15 16 and 27 if you only have these you can create literally any eye look you wish to create. They're my staples. They're the ones that I absolutely cannot live without at all, period. Like if I lost them tomorrow, they'd be the first ones that I would repurchase into my collection. The other one I love, I actually have three of these, is the Ruffa number no. three. Now this is a very small pointed pencil brush. I think you can kind of tell there. And this is great for a few different things. I actually like to use these uh, for my lower lash line. You could use them for pinpointing the inner corner, creating a smoked out like kind of shadow on the top lash line, even really creating a further concentrated kind of crease kind of color. Like these are really quite versatile and they're so small and pointed and soft that they just, they have a multiple diff, like a, a multiple, they have multiple uses. That's what I'm trying to spit out there. And I really do like that as well. There was three other brushes that they released in their holiday collection, the 33, the 36 and the 35. And I believe they've called all three of these eyeshadow brushes, but I actually only use one of these as an eyeshadow brush. And then I use the other two for concealer. So this one right here, the Refa 33, if you do a lot of one and done eyeshadow looks, then this is the brush that you want because it is perfect. So I don't know if you can see that unique shade there, shape there, but it kind of like points here. It's also quite thin. So I hope that you can see. So this for applying and blending out shadow. So you kind of, oh, I've just made a mess of my hair there. You kind of like pick up your shadow but, and because it's almost like a flat shader brush, you press it onto your eyes. And then because it has this tapered fluffier top, you can like turn it this way and start blending and the shadow will just blend out. So it's like a really perfect one and done eyeshadow eye brush that will just do everything for you. Pack it on and then blend it out. So I just took this away as well to Melbourne with me and did a lot of one and done eyeshadow looks. And I use this every day. In terms of face brushes. So there is the Refa 31, which I did just naughtily uh, clean this with Cinema Secrets and I know I'm not supposed to, but I was desperate. So it looks a little blue, but <laughs> this is the slanted foundation brush. This is actually the foundation brush that Hung Van Gogh uses quite a lot. And this is really, really nice. It's quite dense. So you will get quite a lot of coverage with your foundation from using this. Um, I like to use this with cream bronzer or blending out my cream products personally, as well as my foundation. I mainly use sponges with my foundation though, so that's why I say that, but this is really beautiful and you can stamp the product on or you can kind of smooth it out and it really doesn't leave any streaks or anything like that. So I do like that. This one is a new one from their holiday collection and I really love this. This is a Refa 37. And it's like a small kind of foundation brush, but you could absolutely use this for foundation, but I've been really liking this for cream blush because it's so small, it really hugs the tops of my cheekbones perfectly. Or sometimes I've been using it for like cream contour as well, but I really love it for cream blush. Or if you want like a quite a uh, concentrated strategic foundation placement, then you'll like how small this brush is. But yeah, cream blush. This has been my winner. You guys see me use this one all of the time. This is the Refa number no. five. This is hands down my favorite powder blush brush. I love it. It's like a little kitten paw on the cheek. It's super soft and it's just creates such a perfect smooth um, streak free, like non patchy application of blush. I adore this so much. It is hands down my favorite blush brush. The Refa number no. 22 is my favorite bronzer brush, especially for natural hair. I have really been into using the B BKA 507, I'm not going to lie. But prior to that, this one is my favorite and I still love this. Uh, I use this today. It is such a great bronzer brush. See how it's kind of like Kind of tapered in still so again you can pick the product up at the top here and because it's tapered as you blend it out it will really smooth um 
it will really diffuse the product smoothly on your skin. And I just love how big it is. Like you bronze your face in like two seconds. If you have a small face, you might want to pick up a smaller brush, but I personally really, really like this. And again, it's just so soft and lovely. Just quickly, I wanted to show you guys, they do have the complete eye collection, which is all 18 eye brushes right now for $180. So normally it's $423. I gotta be honest, I don't know if this is AUD or USD, so I'll put that on the screen. Um, but the bundled price is $180. And if you can afford that, I strongly recommend it because especially if you are into eyeshadow, you do a lot of eye looks, that's a bundle that you will not regret picking up. Also, this is not sponsored at all. Refa did not ask me to do this. Refa never asked for anything. They just send me stuff and are like, hope you like it. They're again, brilliant, but rep, this isn't sponsored in any way. All of these opinions are honest and of my own. Um, I actually just did this because so many of you guys were asking for it. So I hoped, I hope it was helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you have any other questions, just pop them in the comments down below and I will get back to you and answer them for you. Other than that, if you made it to this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.